This right here is what I got yesterday at Target. And doesn't this little section look so much cleaner? It's so much put together. What's well, so, up? That made any sense? I guess it did. But I decided that with my room, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my sister what posters that she likes of the Swish ones I had did. And then she feels I should put up. And most likely we're gonna get rid of this. I've had this poster since I was in high school. And I believe there's probably some dust on it too. Oh, uh, yep. And you can see there is. One thing that about YouTube that it still amazes me is how there is people out there creating content that they may feel as if nobody's watching, but eventually they will have somebody stop and come through and watch their videos, which I find amazing that people are willing to just give away the content for free and be entertaining. Even just like how I'm doing with these vlogs, make sure I don't too fast my face. And I think right here in this little crevice, I guess drier ash for some reason when I clearly put lotion on my face. Could you imagine if these no longer existed? How many people do you think would lose their shit? I was gonna say lose their shit, but that wouldn't make sense. But how many people do you think would flip out? And I wonder how many of these are sold a year or even a month. I am actually surprised, not surprised, how do I say it? I'm more impressed with how well I'm taking care of the camera. Let me show you all. I've dropped it probably like twice the whole time I've had. Well, no, it's more than twice. But here is the front, and I can't really show you the back. But just making me some popcorn right now because I'm about to watch. Well, making the popcorn, maybe take a break from the computer. Because I did my live mocha, and I just have to do the logo design we'll finish up the one for that theater company she wanted to add some more stuff to the logo which i will experiment and see how it will turn out if you all like me, if you all are like me and you enjoy eating peanut butter sandwiches or just peanut butter in general this brand and type of peanut butter is so Good. I guess it's maybe because it's made by planters. Okay, let me not knock all that over. I gotta remind myself to look where I'm going. Well, hello there. You ready to go for a walk? And I'm gonna make me something to eat for dinner. Probably gonna make just some chicken and some macaroni. What the hell is it? Somebody's setting off damn fireworks. Gonna go ahead and cook me some chicken and some macaroni. Let's see how it would look taking this down really quick before I do so. It's been there forever and I do need to clean. One funny, funny story about this is I found it. Where did I find it at? It was by the trash getting ready to be thrown away by somebody. I believe it was at the apartments we used to stay at when I first moved to Durham. Yeah, that's where it was. Bam! That looks so dope. A lot better than this. Because it's so black and... I just like that, the Iron Man picture, a lot better. But now let's go ahead and have cooking with Justin. Alright, time to get started. Get this cooking on. Just making some... Let me show you. Mac and cheese, Velveeta shells, the best. Well, one of my favorites. And I'm making me some chicken that's been marinating for the past couple of days. Probably, well, I know I probably overdid it with the salt, but I don't want the noodles to stick to the bottom. I'm gonna this pan warms up to put the chicken in. Whew, man. But today has been just a very relaxing day. Just watched. I watch some. I try to watch some vlogs, but I kind of get sick and tired of watching the same people over and over. Like the big YouTubers out there with, like, in the tens of thousands of subscribers. And I thought about something with like dealing with online. How it's kind of hard to 
really validate if somebody's credentials are accurate. For an example, like with YouTube, somebody can have thousands of subscribers and then you go to their videos and you see that it's fake. They bought those or they did sub for sub. Which something was not adding up with that. And same thing with Twitter too. So this is how everything turned out. Just got the Velveeta with shells, the chicken, got some pepper and the other spices on it, and then this yeah, cilantro leaves. No, this is gonna be amazing. And I'm holding the camera high enough this time. But yeah, I know that's one thing I do with my vlogs. I just do them however I feel like doing them. And if the camera is like this, where you can see my mouth, or just wherever, I just like to keep it natural and just let random stuff happen. Because I mean, these are daily vlogs of my day-to-day -day life. So, I didn't want to try to be too perfect. I just wanted to portray me as a person, if that makes any sense. Well, why wouldn't it make sense?